B3 Exit Hunter, yet another hybrid style. Let's play with it. Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. MFJJ here with PodiumArcher.com looking at the Exit Hunter release from B3. This is another one in my hybrid style category. A lot of positives here. Good attachment system, easy adjustment, single screw for t adjusting your length, although once you get that adjusted, you're probably not touching it again. Buckle style strap, does seem to fray a little bit. I think I shot this five or 10 times and this got a little fuzzy, but you could probably hit that with a little heat and that would stop, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, mechanism length here, real short. That's a good thing for me. I don't like this to be too long personally on a hunting bow. Maybe on a target bow that's really long for a more comfortable anchor point, but on a hunting bow, I want this to be short because I don't want to have to give up draw length to make it function. This is a spring style, not a sear engage style. So there is no button to close. You simply close the hook with your forefinger and it's ready to go. It does not have a reattachment spring. You physically have to shut it. So opening and closing here does nothing here, but length is good. Comfort is good. Contour is good. Let's strap this sucker on, shoot it a few times, and play with it. See how the actual firing mechanism feels. I want to say this is similar price to the, uh, the Stan that I've been playing with. I think it's under $200, if I remember right. And definitely quiet for a hunter, so that's a good plus. If you don't want to have a sear style where you have to push a button that goes click when you're hunting, this is definitely one to look at. I definitely like the knob. It's a little bigger, a little more contoured than the stand. I do like that feature. I like a little bit bigger knob. I think my thumb goes around a little better. All right. That feels good. I don't really feel much for travel. It's similar to uh, the stand, but it is physically bigger. So if you have a bigger hand, this might work a little better. I kind of wish that re-engaged when he pushed on the thumb button, but it's still pretty dang easy to do. I guess you can't have everything in the world. Yeah, that feels clean. I like that. Let's play with the... Uh, Tension a little bit because I don't think I have played with that yet. Now the mystery, where is it? Hmm. Does it not have a tension adjustment? It doesn't look like it has a tension adjustment. Well, for what it's worth, the setting on it's nice. I mean, it's not bad. If you wanted to be able to adjust uh, travel or make it really heavy, uh, apparently you're not going to do that. I might have missed something, but I sure don't see one. So somebody's going to comment down below on how much of a moron I, I am because it's right here or right there, but I don't see a screw in it anywhere for adjusting tension. So shoot one more time here. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's got the right amount of tension to fire in it that I would like in a release, so... I can't say it's a massive negative if it doesn't actually have a tension adjustment. And I, yeah, I don't, I don't see one. So I'm going to assume it doesn't have one, but it feels really good for what it is. So that's definitely not a bad thing. Adjusting this strap is super easy. Just loosen that screw, pull it to what you want, screw it back in. Uh, the position of everything felt really good. So, I mean, it's just, it's a more basic version of the exit. Obviously it doesn't have a tension adjustment. Looks like the knob's not really adjustable, but it all fits pretty good and is comfortable for me. You know, not everybody's got the same hand, so this might not feel comfortable to the next person, but I think it's a pretty darn good release. And I know it's a little less expensive than some of the higher end handhelds, so maybe you gotta lose a feature or two that maybe you don't need. Um, head on over to podiumarcher.com for all those archery needs, including this little release right here, which dollar per dollar is a pretty good functioning mechanism. Like and subscribe. Head on over to Instagram. I announce all giveaways over there, not on YouTube, because there's a bunch of scammers on YouTube that try to convince you to send them money to get your winning thing. All winning stuff will be announced on Instagram, so you might want to follow on over there. Thanks a lot.